I agree 100% with this. Commodore Jeff Zambello. People really abuse disrespectfully other people's public restrooms. I'm sure they do not do this in their own home. I see that they trash public restrooms quite a bit. I'm not sure about the ladies room, but I know the men's room is like that, especially here, all right? So I agree, I agree with these signs, because the general public generally sucks. Okay, now let me see what's in store for me here at the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. This is my first time checking things out. This is James P. Madonna from the Facebook group, Everything is Food. Commodore Jeff Sambello, it is the sushi guy, making the rolls, Commodore Jeff Sambello. Uh, oh, look at that, unagi, unagi sashimi, you know what? I better take advantage of it. Oh, there he is, the king of all Mongolian barbecuing. How are you? Good, good, amigo. Happy Day of the Dead. <laughs> day of the Dead. Oh yeah, today is Day of the Dead, Friday. We're, we're, I want to say, I want to give greetings to all, uh, 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 Mexicans and Mexican Americans everywhere. This is the the best holiday of the year. And there we go. All right. Ooh, what do we have here? Ribs. Wow, look at that. Wow. Well, first let me. Uh... You know what, Commodore Zambello. Man, nah, that is some real bony ass looking duck. But well, we got steam. Got steam dumplings, which are always good, but I gotta get some of these ribs. I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. Cornucopia of seafood. Oh, look at this. Codfish. Definitely gonna get that. surf and turf um, beef ribs barbecue beef ribs there we go costilla in Spanish oh these are these look really good this is a nice surf and turf Commodore Zambello much better than any stinking franchise restaurant huh you know it I guarantee I guarantee this is no cock dribble, that's for sure. No cock dribble at all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, surf and turf extraordinaire. There you go. Surf and turf. You know what? Commoner Zimbello? I think I'm gonna get some I'm, I'm gonna get another piece of codfish. What do you think? Now of course with all this codfish, bacalao, yeah, I'm gonna have to get some lemons. Look at that. Bacalao and costilla. Yeah. Very good. All right. What do we got over here? Uh, you know I'm gonna have. Well, hmm, this is interesting. Let me see. Let me see if he's got Arabic rice out. Oh, look at that. He's putting out whiting. In Italian, we say merluzzi. St. Ther Theresa's fish. I don't know why they call it that. Whiting. Look at that. Beautiful. Say goodbye to the buckle up. One more. Good thing I I grabbed the amount I did grab. Uh, potato soup. That's for peasants. Potatoes. Potato is peasant food. Uh, let me see. Should I get dumplings? I'll get them. Well, the dumpling sauce will, will clash with the uh, beef ribs and the uh, codfish. Okay, we have regular fried shrimp. Come on, I just got my eyes open to see if there's any Arabic rice. Oh, there we 
you don't have Arabic rice. But guess what? I have no room for it. I'm going to have to come back. Let's see what we got here. Squish squash, um, cauliflower, French toast. I wonder, and hot, exotic hot dogs. You know, when I first walked in, somebody somebody left this store wide open, Jeff Sambella. They just left it all the way open. And I shut it, and, and the, the management appreciated that I did that. Um, you never know what you're going to find over here, though, really. Like, for instance, Sunday and Monday, they, have, they had huge uh, chicken uh, empanadas, very well stuffed and not greasy. All right, put this, let me put this down. Go get some lemons. Um, okay, this should color, this should color coordinate good with the lemons. Okay, Royal Hibachi, Route 46 West, Saddle Brook, New Jersey. And before I get the lemons, I just want to say that these beautiful Turkish lamps are for sale. For 40 or $50 each, for bronies. Put an LED light in there and it'll, it. it'll stay lit for a thousand years. That's Boom. It. Boom. You're only one yeah. time for no yeah. electricity. I haven't been around because my mom passed away, that's why. I just didn't have the enthusiasm for buffet, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why. All right, thank you, sir. Got more lemons. I know it's the bottom of the barrel here. Got the New Zealand green. Oh, look what they got over there. I better, I better not forget those, uh, the um, Arabic rice because there's big chunks of lamb in there. I never seen brown kiwi fruit before. Oh, papa. Papaya? I think that's papaya. Well, that's cantaloupe. That might be, eh, that might be papaya. I don't know. This could be frite or it could be quinoa. Salad. You know what? I gotta get some of that. Bunch of jabronis. <clears throat> I gotta get some of this because if I don't get it now, you know what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna get it. Looks like papaya. I know it's a little soon for me for me to grab it, but if I don't grab it now, I'm not gonna be able to get any later. Got fresh pineapple there? Yeah. Fresh pineapple. <clears throat> and that's it, the way I go. Got codfish filet with beef ribs. For, for, for a surf and turf to start off, and I've uh, got some papaya fruit. I couldn't get over how uh, someone uh, left the door open to the freezer, to the ice cream freezer over there. Incredible. Okay, round two. Uh, you know what? I was going to get steamed dumplings, but it's too many carbs. I'll only get bloated. As you can see, the snow crab clusters came out. Dad's going shrimp and Creole sauce, whole shrimp with the heads on and shell, but too much work for me.
Okay, here we got some unagi, roasted eel, excuse me. Roasted eel. Um, let's see what we got here. All right, we got some of that. And um, uh, <clears throat> pretty good display. That looks like calamari. Try one. It has a little, it has a little roll on it. Salmon, salmon eggs, but it looks like the body of the calamari. <clears throat> I got, I got, I can't use too much of this. It's a Mongolian barbecue in action. What do we got here? Oh, the ribs are gone. That's probably, um, that's beef or a leg of lamb. It's probably beef, beef, yeah. roast. Okay. Sometimes we get lucky and we get lamb. I know the Arabic rice has lamb in it. That's good. Yeah. In the Arabic rice, sometimes I find lamb in it. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Looks like that would look like chopped garlic, I think. Here we got uh, looks like uh, beef, uh, broccoli, shrimp, and lo mein noodles. Look at that Commodore Jeff Sambello, those vapors, oh, those aromatic vapors. Oh, I'm just, I can smell, that was chopped garlic he put on here. Now, I don't mind cooked garlic, but raw garlic, some, sometimes kimchi has raw garlic, and it just doesn't agree with my stomach. Not, not that kimchi though. Yeah. Oh, look, at those, look at that steam, wonderful aromatic steam kicking up here. Alright, just about done. Royal Abachi Buffet. Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. And don't forget those beautiful Turkish lamps are for sale. The vapor of life. There we go. We are right on the dish. I guarantee. I guarantee, brother. All right. Now, let me, let me go for that Arabic rice. Hopefully, it's still there. There we go. Oh, wow. Now, I bet everybody took the lamb. I bet the lamb is gone. Oh, my God. I, you know, my prediction was right. They fished the lamb, Commodore Zambello. They fished the sacrificial lamb. I'm going to have to uh, make sacrifices myself and just... Uh, enjoy the the f lamb flavor with all the spices that go with it you know oh well what are you gonna do a day late and a dollar short right that's all right eh it's still tasty chicken franchise i don't know you know what? Let me see if there's fried calamari out. If not, I'll take a piece of chicken franchise because then I can put the franchise sauce. Um, I can put the franchise sauce over 
the rice, which will uh, make it more moist. Uh, I don't see any calamari. No, 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 no. So I'm going back to the chicken franchise. Why are people staring at me? Well, I, people have an eyeball problem nowadays, Commodore Zambella. People have an eyeball problem, and there's, and there's also way too many hero worshippers out there. I, I really see the suck-up obsession today with social media. What do you think? All right, chicken franchise. Chicken franchise. Now, I'm going to, since I see no spoon, I'm going to have to use this Commodore to scoop up the, uh, the franchise, uh, which I guess might have lemon, and garlic, olive oil, who the hell knows. But I don't see a spoon, so I'm not going to use a clamshell. I don't want to get scolded. Okay, let's see what I'm doing. See what I'm doing. Very gingerly, very carefully. Yeah, come here, sidebar. Put your head real close to the, the judge's desk by the gavel. Are you ready? Half of a half of a half. Come on. There you go. All right. So I got unagi, which is a roasted eel in Japanese. In Italian, we call it gabadun. All right. Now. Tonight, uh, Mr. Maceman Rick Brown is in Austin, Texas. Uh, well, today he's doing a seminar in Austin, and he's going to the Salt Lake, the uh, famous Salt Lake Landmark Barbecue Restaurant in Austin, Texas, with uh, Mr. Eric Doyle. Hopefully, he doesn't get there too late, because I am going out to a dance club tonight, but not until later. So I will try to touch base with him. Oh, there's still more papaya left. Good. Probably won't be there for long. Um, oh, I forgot the soy sauce. Okay, so we have Arabic rice minus the lamb, but lamb flavor. Um, a uh, chicken filet, uh, chicken franchise that I put over it. And I dribbled the franchise sauce. Commodore, I dribbled it, and then I got this unagi sashimi, and one calamari, raw calamari sashimi, with some salmon eggs over it. Now what I'm going to do is get a little soy sauce on the side. Well, here we got the ice cream section, and we, we got a little arbuckle going there. Commodore Jeff Zambello, we got a little fatty arbuckle going whose shirt matches the blue lettering in the background, which is good. Okay. Yeah, she looks like she's leaving, leaving the door open, unfortunately, a little too long. Anyway. There we go, Commodore Jeff Sambello. There we go. Chris Christie. All right. Here they put out some new Arabic rice with a lot of lamb in it. Oh yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was gonna hit the jackpot. I knew it, Commodore. Plus it's, it's more brown, so it has more of the es essence of the lamb. Right? The sacrificial lamb. Let's see, it takes, it takes just some more sacrificial lamb there, brother. Yeah, that's all right. I'll leave some for the other people. Ah, you know what? I changed my mind. Yeah, that's all right. All right, a little bit more. I'll be a little, a little compassionate, right? And uh, um, pre-election day uh, video. I'm sorry, election day. And when we get some asparagus, grilled asparagus, makes your urine stink to high heavens, but it's delicious. It's delicious. Okay. I made a big mistake in the other video. Mr. Maceman Rick Brown's Austin, Texas seminar is not today. It is tomorrow because today is Friday. And for some strange reason, I thought it was Saturday. 
Luis. Mañana. Okay. Various. Nutrition that will make your urine stink. And I'm not quite sure why. Someday I will research it on Google. Alright. No calamari yet. Usually the calamari is out by this time. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, those congrejo is popular here. What kind of soup? Uh, hot and sour soup is great if you have a cold. Uh, this says seafood soup. Seafood soup. Let me, let me see exactly what it is. Uh, fruit de damar, the broth of the sea. The dribble of the sea, Commodore Chef Sambo. <laughs> Jeff Sambo. Oh, I can smell real crab meat in it, so it is genuine. You know what? Oh, this is good. I, I'm going to have some. I'm going to have some. But when I get the ice cream, I'm definitely going to use my own spoon, without a doubt. Because I learned something from you. We got uh, more whiting going out. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, let me grab. I'm very fortunate. Oh, look at those lemons. I'm very fortunate enough to um, still have access to papaya. I don't know why it's still here, but I will take advantage of the papaya. And believe it or not, I have been to, there's a Papaya King, I know I digress, there's a Papaya King, um, like the one from Seinfeld that Kramer was insisting on eating at, in um, Clifton, New Jersey, not far from me, is, uh, I think it was rated number one hot dog joint by Zagats, I wonder how much they paid for that rating, alright, that's it, by Zagats. And as you can see, they put out the tres leche, a, a Latin specialty. Let me see if they, the people cut the tres leche properly, or did they dig a cavern and massacre the poor thing? Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. The tres leche is not bad at all. But while I'm here, for my refreshing water. Let me get some more lemons. And I think this will be my last uh, regular meal before I get to the ice cream. And like I said, somebody left the door open and they appreciated that I shut it. Okay, here we go. Got chock full of lamb Arabic rice, uh, grilled asparagus, some papaya, and more lemons for my water. Alright? I know my urine will stink like hell, but it's delicious. Okay. Time for the ice cream. Ice cream here, Royal Hibachi Buffet. Look how the glass is sweating. It's perspiring there, Commodore. I wonder why. You think it's because people are leaving the door open too long? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have... I think I'm gonna... I can't even get the friggin' thing open. What the hell? I think I'm gonna have... Uh... Oh, gee. No, I'll have chocolate. I'm in a chocolate mood. Alright. I'm going to need both hands, so excuse me. Okay. This tops it off. Here at Royal, Royal Hibachi <coughs> Buffet. Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Here's my dessert. Some hard, dark chocolate ice cream. Alright. And that should top off this pre-midterm election lunch buffet. 
here at Mega Life 21. This is James P. Madonna saying, have an enjoyable, safe weekend and make it your business to vote. Election Tuesday, it is your duty as an American citizen. And this may be the most important election in modern day America. It only takes me 15 minutes to vote. So there's no excuse every four years or whenever. There's no excuse, all right? Okay, here we go. Royal Hibachi. Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. And we got the uh, ice cream station.